GOA last week issued a report calling for the addition of 450 more facilities to be added to the special focus facility list from CMS. Now we know that represents kind of the worst of the worst, right? And they actually used five star rating criteria to make that suggestion, making it even more controversial. On the heels of that, we also find out that Illinois is mixing more mentally ill patients than other states in with the regular nursing home population. Now obviously a lot of this improvement has to be traced back to clinical improvement. But I'd like to suggest a different context, maybe an umbrella for looking at this. And I'd like to start with this quote. It's from Larry Dossie. It says, we should look at what gives us meaning as seriously as we look at our cholesterol levels and blood pressure. Meaningfulness makes us well. Meaningless makes us sick. Now I think we can add meaning to staff and caregivers, family members and residents by changing the experience in long-term care. But to really move the theory into action takes committed leadership. We believe that if you change the experience that the clinical pieces will fall in place effortlessly. Why? Because they'll be driven by people who are committed, who want to change, and where the change is driven self-authentically. Now, for that to happen, we need leaders who are going to walk the talk, so to speak. We've developed five criteria that we would love long-term care leaders to actually sign a petition for or pledge to move the industry forward. Let me read them to you. See how they resonate. We want leaders who are committed to creating exceptional experiences for everyone, staff, patients, residents, caregivers, family members. We want leaders who are committed to fostering a collaborative leadership style focused on empowering and energizing employees and adopting and acting on ideas that flow from the bottom up. We want leaders committed to being an innovative thought leader, continuously exploring, experimenting, learning, and sharing, not afraid to have a point of view, and taking a stand on it. Something we blogged about just earlier. We want leaders committed to involving into a change agent for person-centered care by walking the talk. And we want leaders committed to educating the public about aging issues by sharing stories that in turn enhance their brand and contribute to their operational success. What do you think about that? Are you such a leader? Do you know others who are? Are you in? Let us know. Thanks.